on that <laughs> entryway and there's a perfect match or a very close match, then the body will tend to take it in. So anything estrogen-like has to fit that receptor. It's the reason why you hear about xenoestrogens or these mimickers. Um, I think of these parabens and these propylene glycols, these things that are in, in, um, in, in creams and such. They're not estrogen, but they have estrogen-like properties because the structure is very similar to estrogen. It sits on the receptor site of breast cells and, and um, prostate cells, and they, and they cause havoc. I don't know that to be true at all for ginkgo. So I'd be really, I, I, I'm gonna have to investigate now because I've never heard that. But I would feel safe. I would, and this is my, my, uh, my, my uh, litmus test, my, my, what I would, how I would recommend to people. And this was, it was a little old lady uh, at Whole Foods who taught me this many years ago when I was working there. I was struggling to try and give her an answer to a question like, should she take this or not? And she just she said, Sunny, Sunny, Sunny. Just imagine that I'm your mother. Would you give this to your mother? And I go, uh, yes, I would. So that to me is the test. Mm -hmm. And what I give, what I recommend my mom, uh, who's alive and well, um, any ginkgo, if she had estrogenic issues, absolutely. Because I haven't seen anything to the contrary. I'm sorry I came in late, maybe you said this. Is this, is this good for adult ADHD? It's not intended for adult ADHD. I don't know if it's... Um, of its overall benefit, um, I, I, that's a good question. I, I just don't, I don't know that I can answer that. Okay, it sounded uh, when you said what it does, it sounds like that. Yeah, well, I, I think that the adaptogenic properties could certainly help ADHD issues, adult ADHD issues. I just don't know if I feel comfortable in saying, once again, that same test. You know, if my mom was ADHD, but I give this as the primary course of treatment. I don't, I don't think so. Theanine, definitely, yeah, and that's part of the green tea extract, absolutely. Theanine would certainly help in that. The Siberian ginseng, also great for mental function and acuity and um, support, and absolutely. So yes, you sir. mentioned the creams, like the hormone creams, can give you estrogens and may turn to cancer. So mm -hmm. those creams and those patches can be this. Oh, well, absolutely, yes. But this is not, if you take this, you will not get no estrogen, no cancer will come from this. Uh, that's what you're saying. Wow. Did I say all that? Well, it sounded that way. You mentioned the hormone to give you estrogen to her, but not this. Yeah, what I, she was asking me about the ginkgo biloba, if so it has estrogenic property. Thing. There's nothing, there's no estrogenic properties in this formula whatsoever. Well. I mean, no estrogen from the above, from the hormone, the creams, the patch, and all that. That can give you some kind of estrogen. The cumulative the effect of all that can actually, absolutely do that. But sure. this won't give you the cancer estrogen. Right? There's, there's nothing in here that would promote that at all. James. So if you're okay. just into a caffeine drink or drink, we do caffeine to give you the lift. That has slight drawbacks on the cancer side. Not every caffeine drink, but some do, some don't. That's what? I, I don't understand the question. Well, there were like, there's so many like the Red Bull. Yeah. There's so many different drinks that they were caffeine. The people say to get an energy, like a fast energy shot, or right. like that, whether it be here or wherever else. Some of them, the caffeine has a slight estrogenic effect, some don't. That's I don't, why I'm Once again, I don't know that to be true either. So you don't think it's giving if the caffeine has other issues that, that people should avoid well, if you're taking too much of it. Some caffeine give you cancer, some don't. Some people say you drink six cups of coffee a day to stop the cancer. Other people say years ago it was the opposite. Now I guess that reversing it. I guess that'll be for the cancer talk. But I, I'm I'm just not equipped to talk about that tonight. So you don't know an old caffeine drink that would not give you the cancer. Last point on this, and I'll go to James. Caffeine actually has antioxidants in it. And um, a, a while back, they were selling caffeine, liquid caffeine, um, not solutions, but drinks that had ca the, the, these antioxidants in them that promoted um, antioxidant support. So great for heart health, great for brain health. And so caffeine actually, it's when you roast it, and it's when you decaffeinate it with solvents, it's when you add other things to it that you actually denature the benefit of caffeine. But caffeine in its raw form, is actually beneficial for you. Oh, you beneficial without the added ingredients like in the monster drink. You ever see this monster drink? Hang on, let me go to James here. Well, to answer his question, if the, to, the coffee bean is not organic and they spray it for the chemicals, so sure, that could be an issue. That's correct. And about as far as uh, turmeric, I mean, I think everyone in the world should have be taking turmeric 
it works on so many different parts of the body, particularly detoxifies the liver. Mm -hmm. And uh, the latest things I've been reading now, if you have a precancerous cells working on the DNA, it'll actually correct it. Wow. Yeah, and, and eliminate it. So it works against cancer. So turmeric is very powerful. I've, yeah, I've seen some I've seen some research on uh, turmeric and cancer issues, cancer studies. I didn't know it went that far. Yeah. Um, but you're right. Turmeric has all these wonderful benefits. The thing is, it's notoriously not well absorbed unless yeah. you eat a meal. So if you're taking your turmeric supplements on an empty stomach, like most of us, you know, do first thing in the morning, if you know, have a hearty stomach, no problem. Um, you're not getting the same benefit as you would if you took took it with some sort of food. Now, we bypass that by adding the black pepper extract, which increases the absorption anyway. So whether you take it with a meal or not, no big deal. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I, I was thinking, like, uh, you're talking to me? Oh. Damn, and I'll come to you now. Rivia turmeric. So I'll that up. Say again? Rivia turmeric. Rivia. Rivia. Rivia turmeric. From Dr. Beth. So I'll that Absorbs that. Okay. Do you know if they have black pepper extract in there? No, it's, no, it's not. I don't think it does. It's a different okay. way. Interesting. It's a different way to do it. Okay. And what was your question, sir? Well, I was just saying, like, I take a lot of those things, like, but I take more. I take, like, the curcumin, like the marita that he was talking about. Mm -hmm. But I don't take other things, like, uh, probably I would have to try this one to see if it, it's how it felt. Because <coughs> right. I don't take a lot of this. I mean, some of the things in there, like uh, ginseng or things like that. It's Siberian like, ginseng, right? I never tried those. Okay. But I do take, like, D3. The, <coughs> but I'm a person, like, uh, I... I'm working in the sun now. I used to, well, I had a different job. I got laid up. But uh, now I'm working in the sun with the job I do now. And I was taking 5,000, sometimes even 10,000 a day, D3. Right. And I, so I thought, so finally I went and took my, got my test. <coughs> the, the, what they call it, D3, uh, something in the name of it. Hydroxy D3. Right. <coughs> and the test, and it came out 35. And I was taking that much, you know. How long now did you I take it? more. How long did you take it for? I took it, it was like, uh, I was taking it like that for, I was taking it a long time. I mean, I took lower doses. Like, I would say I was taking it all over at least a year. Yeah, that's more than enough time. Usually but not that same dose, but this, the heavy dose I've taken about six, at least six months. Usually all you have to take vitamin D3 for, D3 for, to see a change in your levels is three months. But I work so, in the sun, you know. I understand, and then, and that's what's even more complex. But how much skin is exposed? Yeah, that's why I don't think there's much skin in the I don't you, wear shorts. You have a nice tan. Yeah, I don't wear shorts, but I have my arms exposed, but it must not absorb it. Just will tell you one more thing about the, the curcumin, and then we'll move on to the last couple of slides, and we'll do the drawing here. Uh, the curcumin C3, and I really encourage you, look it up. You can find it's easy access information. Curcumin C3 complex. It's right here. Uh, standardized to 95% curcuminoids, the active ingredients. Patented, standardized extract of the three most active curcuminoids. It's a bioprotectant or super antioxidant. It not only prevents oxidation, but blocks inflammation, uh, blocks inflammation as well. It contains the bioprotein I mentioned to you about and is 2,000 times more potent than standard turmeric curcumin extracts. Hence, that's the why we use it. Um, let me just go to the last couple. Uh, less you, because you don't know much about the, 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 the company Chigo, we third party test every single formula. Our immune formulas, these formulas, the one for energy, the one we're going to talk about on Saturday, which is for relaxation. We test for heavy metals and contaminants. We have a certificate of analysis, that's a report card of every single formula, uh, showing that testing and showing uh, the quality assurance. And they're free of common allergens. You will not find any wheat, any gluten, you will not find any shellfish artificial color preservatives, or any soy of any kind in any of the formulas. We understand that for many people those are issues, so we don't put it in the formula, they're not part of the formula. Uh, that's the, uh, the one we're going to talk about on Saturday, just I thought I'd give you a sneak peek. That's the nighttime repose. We have ashwagandha, theanine, and melatonin, half a milligram, 0.5. Not enough to sedate you, gently to nudge you into sleep. We'll talk more about that to promote relaxation and restful sleep. I use this as well. On a regular basis, I don't have a problem falling asleep, but I use it just to see, and, and I find that what happens is I get more out of the hours that I do sleep. I should probably sleep more, but the rebel in me stays up, working on the computer, listening to music, reading a book. So I should be in bed by 10, 10, 30 when the things, you know, the, the circadian rhythm, rhythm starts to knock, my body goes to sleep, and yet I find that I stay up usually until about 12, 12, 30, and then I gotta get up at 6. So, 
what we suggest uh, is to start and end your day the Chigo way with everything else you do. You can, if you can incorporate daytime restore for the morning, that's your energy, and nighttime repose, which we'll talk about on Saturday at 2 o'clock for relaxation. Any other questions before we draw for the goodies? Quick questions, yes, ma'am.